abortion bill, uh, do you plan to sign it? We've not received the bill yet. It'll, we expect to receive it sometime later today after the legislature Governor goes Tariq, into session. Tariqa Duncan from CBS News. You Governor, what's your personal stance on legal abortion? It's, a, it's an issue that is very difficult, and people have, have to address that. And when I get the bill, I'll review it thoroughly. Governor, Governor in 2018, you mentioned support for protecting unborn life and even said that there was a need to have more conservative Supreme Court justices. Uh, this was right before Kavanaugh was uh, confirmed. And then you said that you did support uh, Justice Kavanaugh. Where do you stand on abortion as a whole? <coughs> I'll certainly review the bill when it comes across my desk. We'll review it thoroughly, the legal department, etc., and then I'll make a final decision. Do you have a time frame on when you will likely decide? Well, on first whether got or not to you're get going... the bill, okay. and that'll be later today after the legislature convenes, and then we will review it, and after we've reviewed it thoroughly, we'll make an announcement. And have you talked to the sponsor of this bill, Terry Collins, at all since this bill passed? Not since it passed. Governor, have you, uh, do you have any concerns that all the reaction to the abortion uh, bill and everything that's happening right now may make it difficult to recruit more business to the state of Alabama? Alabama's wide open for business. It's a great place to do business. We've got a business-friendly environment. And events like today show that Alabama is wide open and welcoming for new business to grow and develop here. Would you Governor, are you concerned about the legal exemptions? repercussions? Would you prefer a bill that has exemptions for rape and incest? All human life is precious. Which way are you leaning at, at this point, even though you have not seen the bill, you have not read it, but which way are you leaning? Where, where does your heart tell you? That's speculation, and we've got to see the bill and review it thoroughly and be, be glad to do that. Governor, any concern about the legal fees that could potentially come on with this bill? We certainly cannot deter your efforts to protect the unborn uh, because of costs. That means going to state and to the uh, United States Supreme Court. As governor, it is my honor and privilege to announce that Toyota and Mazda have chosen Alabama as the home of their new production plant. These fine companies have pledged to invest $1.6 billion in Alabama and to bring 4,000 new jobs at an average salary of $50,000. Production will begin in 2021 and will eventually reach 300,000 vehicles annually. Thank you again to Toyota and Mazda. Thank you so much and welcome to Sweet Home Alabama.